Remember what I said during my video on the Mimic? What was it again? Oh yeah, that the only remaining mysteries surrounding Security Breach are the Michael Afton room and what the deal is with Freddy. I'm surprised nobody mentioned it in the comments, but I purposely left out the blob from that whole discussion. Why? Well, because I think I have an answer. And it's probably my favorite theory surrounding the character we've heard so far. So, let's not waste any time. I'm going to recap what the blob is, what the current working theory is, and what my interpretation of it is. With any luck on my part, my interpretation could feasibly be the correct one. So let's go. The Blob is a character who appears at the very end of Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. They are a mass of writhing, metallic tentacles, and are littered with the plush suits of various previous animatronics from throughout the series. Their motives and origin are mostly unknown, but the character encyclopedia is stating that they may have an origin in Ennard, which leads me to believe that's probably only half true. Its location inside the burnt down pizzeria does lead to a safe assumption that this thing at one point may have been Molten Freddy, but it's never been confirmed. The Blob can attack Gregory during the boss fight, although its ultimate role is in appearing behind Burn Trap and carrying it away after a jump scare, indicating that the two are enemies to one another, maybe. It's never referenced again, but I do find it to be a really interesting character and plot point that for the most part remains unresolved. With the character being in such close proximity to Burn Trap, it begs the question once again, is this character meant to be good or bad? Or is it neither, just a freak of nature? Well, let's look at a popular fan theory. This one is the one that I personally believe for the longest time, and it's what I'd like to call the Agony Theory. This theory indicates that the Blob is Molten Freddy to some extent, having regained its mass by stealing different animatronic parts from all over the Pizzaplex. This would explain why certain body parts like the main face are in a much better state of repair than Molten Freddy was in. The Agony part of the name comes from the Blob not being possessed by any spirits anymore, but instead by Agony. For those who don't know, Agony in the FNAF universe is just the word we use to describe human pain and suffering. It's capable of animating a robot just like a spirit could, but these possessions are much more rare. Agony possessions also make it so that whatever is possessed bleeds black blood, and the blob is covered in this black substance that could feasibly be Agony blood. The idea is that when Molten Freddy was destroyed at the end of FNAF 6, the spirits moved on, and the Agony stayed behind, creating this monster whose only real goal is to sustain itself and kill anyone it comes across. In my opinion, this theory works, but it's a little unsatisfying in the grand scheme of Security Breach. The big revelation regarding Burn Trap is that he's not William Afton, he's the Mimic. So does it make sense for the Blob's reveal to be that it's just... the Blob? Couple that with the fact that the Blob is not its canon name, and I suddenly feel like there's pieces to the puzzle missing. Or rather, they were missing. Let's talk Nexi. Nexi is the name of the most recent Tales from the Pizzaplex book, and it's the book that gave us the Mimic story. Is there anything else we can find out in here? Yes, there is. You see, in this book's epilogue, we find out something I don't see many other people mentioning. That being that at some point, a whole line of Mimic Endos was created and discontinued after some sort of terrible event. It's not stated what this event was, nor why the Mimics specifically were discontinued, but it is important to today's theory. So just keep that in mind. The first big thing I wanted to check up on is where did the Blob get those plush suits on its body? Your first instinct might be the fire. After all, some of these characters look very burnt and the FNAF 6 fire did encapsulate pretty much every character in the series at that point. Except that doesn't make a lot of sense. The FNAF 1 animatronics weren't in that fire. Neither was the Mangle. Circus Baby was there, but she was Scrap Baby with a completely different look. Really, the only character on the Blob's body that was at the fire was the puppet, via Lefty. The puppet mask, which, by the way, is absent of its tear streaks, indicating that it's most likely moved on. So, if it's not the fire, then where did the Blob get its plush suit parts? Well, what about Rockstar Row? I don't mean this is where the Blob got its parts from, but it's where its parts should be. If that makes sense, more on that later. Rockstar Row has a number of glass display cases, with old Freddy's memorabilia in them, including toys, props, and body parts of previous animatronics. There's also the FNAF 1 stage, along with a button that reads Showtime on it, similar to the one seen in Help Wanted. The problem? There's no FNAF 1 animatronics here. You could make an argument that the Glamrocks were supposed to use this stage, but considering it's meant for three characters, not four, and it apparently requires the Showtime button, I'm not convinced. It almost seems like these characters are missing, and if they are, then where did they go? Well, how about the Blob? We straight up see Bonnie and Chica in its main body, I wouldn't be surprised if Freddy's in there too. So is there any chance that the Blob is a congregation of older animatronics down in the pizza place? Well, I wouldn't bet money on that. We've seen the toys scrapped, so Mangle shouldn't be around. The FNAF 1 animatronics were taken apart, and the puppet should have burnt in the fire. Technically, this could be Circus Baby's actual face since we never see that be destroyed, 
Same with Funtime Freddy. However, I think it's too much to say that the blob is made up of all of these older animatronics. But, they're still there, we can see them, so what are they? Well, allow me to reintroduce you to FNAF AR. In this game, there are tons of recreations of existing animatronics, with most of the ones we see in the blob appearing in this game. There is one exception, that being the puppet, although we do know Lefty was planned to be a character in the game, and is actually still present in the game files. But the one that kinda convinces me that these AR animatronics are the ones we see in the blob is the very last character added to the game, over a year ago, Funtime Freddy. I find it very odd that this is the character that had to be released before Illumix essentially gave up on the game. But I think the reason that it happened is so that we know Faz Ent was making these new Funtime Freddies that would eventually be integrated into the Blob. But then why is it so important that the Blob is made from these characters? Because of what the AR animatronics actually are. First of all, they have cloaking technology, a first for the series, and they can cause electronic devices to go haywire. This sort of EMP effect is present in a modern lore character specifically, that being the Mimic. Some of you probably know where I'm going with this. The FNAF AR animatronics use standard Endo-01 endoskeletons across the board. However, sometimes when you're playing you can find chips containing the personalities and behaviors of different animatronics. You're scanning a circuit board into an existing Endo to make it behave like an entirely different character. That is literally what happens in Help Wanted. The FNAF AR animatronics are all mimics. I mean, that's literally their whole thing. They mimic characters who we've seen before. So then, if the blob is made up of these FNAF AR animatronics, then it's made up of a bunch of mimics. For this reason, I want to change the name from the blob to the name Mimic Swarm. But how do I know for certain that Mimic Swarm is made up of these AR characters? Simple. They've already shown us. Whenever you get jump scared by the blob, you get a really good look at its endo head. This endo head shows us its muzzle, jaw, eyes, and most of the skull. What's important to note is that this does not match the Funtime Freddy we see in Sister Location, but it does match the Funtime Freddy in FNAF AR. Notice they both have this large muzzle casing. So if it can't come from the original Funtime Freddy, then it 100% has to be AR Funtime Freddy. It's worth noting that technically, yes, the original FF did have a muzzle casing, but this one is a different, more curved shape than the Blob or AR Freddy's. Regardless, that doesn't matter since we know it can't come from the OG Funtime Freddy anyway. I mean, he was scooped and presumably tossed away. But then why the AR animatronics? Is it just because they're mimics? No, I don't believe that. As I said before, the mimic line was discontinued because they saw something that caused them to behave strangely, in ways they were never meant to. So what could this event have been? Is it possible that these mimics aren't possessed by Glitchtrap as we once thought? but all happen to see the same terrible event go down? Maybe the missing children's incident? Possibly. Regardless, this mimic line being reused for the AR animatronics and them being evil leads me to think that they are the very same bots that are talked about in the epilogue. But hold on. Why does Mimic Swarm have its origins in Entered then? While this may be the character encyclopedia throwing out a red herring, it's also possible that the Mimic Swarm is more than just a bunch of mimics combined into one beast. Perhaps Molten Freddy is still in there, but he's rebuilt himself using those mimics. This creates that sort of double-edged personality that makes him hostile to both Gregory and Burntrap. You have the mimic side that wants Gregory dead, and the Molten Freddy side that wants Afton dead. Or something. Actually, no matter which way I put it, I can't come up with a good reason as to why Mimic Swarm would try to kill Afton. Hi, yeah, this is post-editing muted. Um. While I was going back through this, I, I kind of figured out that if this is true and the blob is made up of a bunch of mimics, then maybe the reason that he killed Burntrap was so that he could absorb him. It's possible that the blob just simply wants to get bigger, using as many mimics as it can find. That's the best I could come up with post-editing. My only plausible explanation regarding that would be that the mimic swarm was either created to try and kill anyone it sees, or there's some lingering spirit inside that's actually in control. And if that's the case, could it be the puppet? As I said before, the puppet is the only character who appears on the blob that doesn't also appear in FNAF AR. Remember that Lefty was axed. So where did the puppet mask come from? Is it an oversight on Scott and Steel Wool's part? Or is it a hint as to what's really controlling the Mimic Swarm? One last tidbit about this theory is regarding the character of Glamrock Bonnie. As we know right now, they're the only Glamrock character to have been scrapped and quickly replaced. In his case, he was replaced by Montgomery Gator. However, for the longest time, people had believed that he was scrapped so that Vanny could use his body to rebuild William Afton. While that's technically still possible, 
I think it makes more sense now for Glamrock Bonnie to have been scrapped so it could be given to the Mimic Swarm. And this right here, this would be why the Mimic Swarm attacks Burn Trap. In its final moments, Glamrock Bonnie's programming reactivates and it wants to protect his friend, Freddy, and steals Burn Trap away. This one's less of a theory and more of a could it be? But I kind of like that idea. However, there is one more big thing I should address before I try to close out this video. That being the Storyteller. Recently, I've been seeing some theorists try and draw connections between the Blob and the Storyteller Baobab tree from the books. After all, the Storyteller being connected to every animatronic in the Pizzaplex would probably make it incredibly easy to get whatever parts the Blob needs to gain mass. However, I want to wait before we settle on that theory. I think mine by all accounts is not only possible, but likely. I have a real confidence in this theory that I haven't had in a long time. Not to say I don't believe in my theories, but this is the first one in a while that feels like the pieces were left there for us to solve. Until I'm proven wrong, I'm demuted. Be sure to check me out every Friday at 1pm EST for streaming, and as always, be sure to like and subscribe. Peace.